It's time for round 11 of the Great American Stampin' Show. Shannon West here, and I have a project prepared for you that I am so excited to demonstrate. In this round, we are focusing on the Joy of Christmas Suite, and it is some seriously gorgeous product. If you haven't seen it yet, this is your lucky day. So if you like my video, thumbs up. Make sure to watch my friends competitors and if you like theirs thumbs up on theirs too thanks so much for watching hope you enjoy the joy of Christmas suite actually uses two it features two full bundles the joy of Noel bundle and the Christmas classics bundle I am only going to be using the Christmas classics stamp set not even the dies and that's primarily because I don't have the dies. <laughs> so it really pushed me to come up with kind of a weird technique that I'm about to show you. Um, so I'm also using the sketched plaid. And these are all the things I'm using. Real red and mossy meadow, uh, black and vanilla ribbon, and then just a little bit of cardstock. So I'm just going to jump right in and use the plaid background stamp with real red. I love using real red and mossy meadow and then um, on the other hand when I use cherry cobbler I like to use some of the lighter greens like garden green or um, even lighter than that sometimes. Um, I feel like when I use mossy meadow and cherry cobbler together they kind of compete a little bit so anyway but I love all the reds and greens it's really fun to mix and match. This is a regular card front and the trick here is just to get it straight with the lines. So I'm just being really careful to try to get it lined up on the left. And then a good trick here is just to get a scratch piece of paper and layer it over and really push it down because it's easy to miss just one of the lines and then your plaid is off a little bit. And this is kind of a country Christmas um, <laughs> from in my opinion and so would be okay if I missed some of the lines but look at that absolutely perfect so that's that and I'm gonna set this aside and just kind of let those dry red ink on white can be really easy to smear so watch that if you're making this card yourself or if you're making any card with real red so I'm using a black card base and so that will eventually go on there. Actually, I think I can just, well, I'll put it down just a minute and just let it dry. Now this piece is four inches by, let me make sure, yeah, four and a quarter wide and then four inches tall. And so this is going to be where the fun technique comes in. So I've got four of the different stamps from the stamp set. I've got this one that's like a, a bow of some sort, ever evergreen, and then there's the little um, berries that go with it, and then there's this corner piece, if you can see that. Oh, I love that piece. It's really um, ups the game of this project, and then I'm also using a greeting. So I'm just going to stamp this like so, and just stamp twice, so once full strength, and then kind of back it down a little bit, and stamp there, and then do the same thing on the bottom here. So I want to keep the the branch within the width of the cardstock. Ah, oh, so cute. I love that stamp. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And looks beautiful with the just looks very clear and precise. I just love that. Okay, now for the berries, I'm just gonna stamp a couple of the berries throughout the branch. So they just add a little something nice. Try to get them sort of connected to a branch so they're not floating off into space. <laughs> and then I've got my Peace on Earth greeting that I'm going to stamp with Memento. So get this red away and wipe my hands on my pants because I'm telling you, red can be a problem. And this is just going to go right here in the middle. I don't think I even really got that straight, but that's okay. It's kind of, yeah, the earth is straight, actually. The other's not so much. Okay, now, before I use that little corner piece, move these out of the way, 
I am going to trim this piece a little bit. Okay, come on. <laughs> all my things all making a big mess now. So I'm going to trim this an inch on either side. Cut an inch off so that these this piece is still connected, but it's um, sticking out. So let's see if I can make sure to get my paper trimmer in the camera. So I'll just do an inch on either side and on either side of the branch too. So I'll just um, slice that down into there until I get close to the branch. And then I'm gonna bring it back the other side and slice towards the branch this way. Okay, and then we'll do this one. Same thing, one inch away. So since this was a four inch piece, now it's gonna be two inches that are left. And I don't need to worry about lining those up. Um, I've done this a couple of times and the branches get in a different place each time. So I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Okay. All right, that is done. So now you can see those are loose like that. Now I'm going to take my um, snips and fussy cut around these. Not a really extreme fussy cut. I'm just gonna kinda just cut in between them a little bit so that um, so that they kind of stand out in that way and then these pieces are cut off. Okay, now it's time for, so you can see how that turned out. Just, you know, it just kind of gives that dimension but doesn't, it wasn't a lot of work to fussy cut that. So now this little corner that's there, so I'm just going to line it up with each of the corners and just really make this project fancy. Easy to do with photopolymer stamps. And this corner, the bow is pretty close there, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway, even if it overlaps a little bit because I think it would look weirder to not have it there. <gasps> Cute, I love it. Okay, so now time to assemble. This is such an easy and fun project. If you are looking for Christmas card ideas, this could be a good one. You could just sit and do this while watching your favorite Hallmark movie. That's what I like to do. Or I have three Christmas movies that I have to watch every year and I just so look forward to watching actually I don't have to I can't wait to watch them and that's the holiday love actually and the family stone if you come from a family with a lot of kids or at least you know a few kids maybe you would like the family stone I love it I they have five kids just like we have in my family so it's fun to watch okay now I'm just gonna put this kind of right in the middle and I I mentioned this before, but now you can see the difference. Um, and these are all, these are both basic white, both pieces of cardstock. I did this one four and a quarter, and that one was a regular card base, so four inches wide. And so now that just stretches out a little bit to the edge of the card base and makes it look more grand, I think. Okay, so let's add a little bit of ribbon now, and I just want to um, tie this right kind of like right there in the space of that white and just tie like a beautiful little bow oh i love this ribbon i looked back at the great american stamp and show um i've used this ribbon either this or the black and white <laughs> on the last um three of the last four videos i just i don't know i want to use it on every single project I'm going to cry big sad tears when it retires. When the, Well, is, we'll still have the black and white. but um, And you know what? I'm going to slide this forward just a little bit so we can still see the, see the little um, corner, uh, corner stamps back there. That's really sticking off the card a lot. But hey, you know what? Why not? That's kind of bent, but that's okay. I'll leave it for now. Okay, the last thing I'm going to add is just a couple of these amazing rhinestones just a you know a little extra bling never hurt in my opinion so I'll just uh, pile a couple of these on here I don't know what happened let's see put that one right there and then 
put one over here in the in the greenery somewhere maybe I don't know I was gonna do it lower here but each time you do a card it kind of turns out different doesn't it you have to kind of like reformat where you want to put your rhinestones I don't want it to get lost over there so right there is good and then let's put a couple over here um because those will really be a nice little bling there and that is my round 11 card of the great american stampin show do you like it thumbs up if you do um in my the description of my video you'll find the three links to my competitors slash teammates <laughs> we are having so much fun um preparing these for you every other week so this is it for november 2nd we still have several weeks of our christmas card um uh, excuse me christmas card uh tutorials that we're sending out so if you'd like to get those free tutorials sign up for my mailing list link is also in the description and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the Joy of Christmas, or in other words, the Christmas Classics uh, Country Christmas card from Shannon. <laughs> See you in a couple weeks. Bye-bye.